guys and gals and everybody in between you won't believe this check this out so many don't realize it's mr jeff's birthday we went all out tonight we got the artisan loaves here nice salted crusty we're making mushroom soup bowls Wait till you find out what mushrooms we put in this. Hey, you know this is the Mr. Jeff channel. Hey, it's Mr. Jeff. What up? I don't have editing power, so we're doing this as a one take. Hey, let's go. All right. So we got the bowls cut. Of course, we got to keep the lids on the side. Added, added bread. Oh, you didn't notice this. We got the roasted Brussels sprouts. All right, you're watching this plating being done as it's happening here. Where else can you find the most beautiful unedited mushroom videos? Nowhere. Hey, if you're new to this channel, you're catching this for the first time, I welcome you to subscribe for more on this channel. We do a variety pack. I've got everything from me driving around and singing, foraging, finding wild mushrooms, mushroom videos out in the woods, breaking, breaking stuff and getting chaotic, in the kitchen, whipping up artistic dishes. I even do mushroom music. Or did I already say that? I don't know. Hey, we're coming over here. Oh my goodness. That's what's up. And if you knew what the secret ingredient was, probably faint. So let's talk about the six mushrooms we put in here. I started off with birch polypore. When we made us a birch polypore tea over the stove, we simmered it, brewed a tea, and then we set that to the side. Hey, I'm coming back again. Man. Then I took some dehydrated mushrooms that I already had dehydrated. Which ones were they? We had Suillus Americanus, a.k.a. Slippery Jacks that were locally harvested from Spruce Run Trail out here in Central PA. Then we had, oh man, what was the other dehydrated ones in there? I had dehydrated Coral Tooth. That was... That was actually grown. It was cultivated, but it was cultivated off of a clone that was wild harvested from that same trail that I found the Sewillus. So we found that. That's Hericium coralloides for those that are taking notes. Um, there was one other dehydrated one now I got to remember here that we put in there. Oh, shoot. It'll come to me. It'll come to me. Oh, it was um, Piopinos. Yeah. So it had, those were, those weren't wild, but they were dehydrated. So on the dehydrated, that's what we put in. Then I went ahead and also dry sauteed some fresh shiitake and, oh shoot, once again, mind blank. Oh, the blue oyster. So we took cultivated blue oyster and shiitake and dry sauteed them actually have a little video clip of me deglazing the pan with Jim Beam. That's the secret ingredient, folks, is I took some Jim Beam to impart the flavor of oak to give this nice woodsy flavor to, to complement these mushrooms from the woods. Um, did I mention all six mushrooms? Yeah. So that was the six mushroom variety pack. I went ahead and put that birch polypore tea to impart more umami flavor into this deliciousness we gotta take a bite he's slicing up t-bone that we had on the side we're gonna garnish that onto the soup we've got the brussels sprouts roasted oh my goodness even got a little side of the hungarian seasoning spice this stuff is legitimately amazing take a pinch on the oven now Mm. And you hear that music playing, don't you? Tell me that's not a beautiful thing that can't get copywritten. So this channel's all good to go, guys. We ready to take a bite? 
Let's do this. Before I close this video off, you guys get to hear me moan. Oh, shoot. Mm. I should have been sitting down for this. Oh. Oh, that's so good. From scratch, folks. From the woods, talking with my mouth full. This is Mr. Jeff. I got to shut this off and eat. Hey, subscribe for more. Peace.